a very famous pork dish that comes from Emilia Romana in northern Italy. It's pork that's slowly cooked in milk. It's such a delicious dish. Usually in this recipe only cow's milk is used but I like to use a combination of cow's milk and almond milk. I find the almond milk gives the pork a really lovely nutty light flavour. Now the pork is pork neck, also called pork scotch fillet now in shops. It's a fantastic secondary cut that cooks really nicely in the oven and will fall apart once it's cooked for a few hours. You can see that there's a little bit of fat which is going to keep it nice and moist throughout the cooking process. I've also tied it so it cooks quite evenly in the pan. I like to use a saute pan that has a heavy lid just like this one and I'm going to preheat it so it's nice and hot. I want my thermal spot to go a solid red and that's the perfect time to add the meat so we can sear it and get that lovely caramelization. Now I'm going to season this quite generously with some salt on all sides. I'll also generously season it with some freshly cracked pepper. All right, you can see that that's a solid red colour now. So we'll add a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And we want to start to get some colour on this meat. So in, nice sizzle there. And while that's cooking, I'll prepare my onions. So one onion, and you just want to roughly chop this. This will also go into my saute pan to get a lovely caramelised colour. Another ingredient that I'll use is clove. Clove and almond milk and pork go nicely together. So two small cloves. All right, I'll get my tongs and we'll turn the meat over. Perfect, we're getting some nice color on that. So I'll add my onions, just break it up. And now I'll get some color on this. Once it's all colored, I'll add my herbs. All right, the pork and the onions have caramelised nicely, so for the herbs, hard herbs and herbs that go with pork. So a few sprigs of thyme, along with sage. So we'll just break that up, three sprigs. Look how beautiful that already looks. And now for some lemon, I need three or four strips of lemon peel. And I want big strips so I can take them out after the long cooking process. We'll pop them around the saute pan. And then we'll deglaze with some white wine. We want about 200 mils. And you want that to bubble away and reduce. And now for the milk. So you need enough milk to cover half of the pork. So instead of using stock, and that's what you would do at this stage, we're going to use our two varieties of milk. Milk also has lactic acid in it, so it's going to break down the meat and keep it really tender after it's cooked for two hours. And then the almond milk, well, it also has a job for this. It's going to give it that lovely nutty flavour. So even amounts of almond milk to cow's milk. And we do want a substantial amount of milk because it will cook down. Okay, now an extra pinch of salt to season the milk. Now I'll add a cartouche because that's going to keep the meat super moist as it cooks. And it will protect it along with our lid. And now this goes into the oven for two hours. Halfway through the cooking process, I'll just check it, maybe turn the meat so it cooks quite evenly. Now the pork has been cooking for two hours. I've just removed it from the oven and I'm gonna take the lid off. That is the most delightful smell. I can smell the sage and the thyme. And it almost smells quite nutty because of that almond milk we've used. We'll take off the cartouche and you can see how that sauce is a little liquidy. That's okay, because we're going to reduce that. We do need to take the meat out of the pan. So I'm just gonna bring this saute pan over here and we'll just take that out. I can just feel it's so soft. And we'll let that cool for a moment. We'll place the saute pan back onto the heat. And I'm going to put that onto a medium to high heat so it starts to boil. And just with my whisk, I'm going to scrape down the sides and then also whisk that just so the sauce comes together. Now usually you wouldn't use a metal whisk in a pan like this, but because it's titanium pro-coated, it won't scratch the pan. 
Now we're going to boil that for about 10 to 15 minutes to reduce. In that time, I'm just going to pick out the herbs and also the lemon zest that's done its job. And once that's reduced by a third, I'm going to boil some pasta. I love to serve this with some fresh papadel pasta. It's the perfect accompaniment with a creamy sauce just like this. Now make sure you remove all that string before you start to shred the meat. And this is so soft, I can almost feel it just crumbling in my fingers. Best way to do this is to grab two forks and watch this, look at this, the meat just pulls away. Isn't that just delightful? I love slow cooked meat. And this is gonna just taste even better when we put it back into the sauce and coat it with all that almond milk sauce. Now the pasta has gone in, it takes no time at all to cook because it's fresh pasta and have a look at this sauce. I'm so excited about it. It's reduced a lot. I'm going to take it off the heat now and we're going to finish it off with some parmesan and some extra almonds. I toasted these earlier, you can see they've got a lovely golden colour. I'm just going to place them on my board and then just roughly chop them. And this is really going to accentuate the almond flavour from the almond milk that we added earlier on. And I'll just pop them to the side because we want to leave them to the very last minute just so they retain their crunch. The pulled pork, it looks fantastic. We'll just carefully slide that back into that thick, rich sauce. And then now I want to coat that and then we can add our pasta. Now I'm just going to drain it directly from the pot. And the reason I do this is, I don't mind if some of that starchy water goes in, it'll bring the sauce together. So just carefully add the pasta ribbons and in, along with our toasted almonds and then a generous amount of the parmesan that I've freshly grated. I'm going to give that a toss. Oh, yum. And then we can finally plate up. Just going to try to bring that together and then we'll pop that in the plate. And don't forget all that yummy sauce on top. Lots of shredded meat and the sauce. And then finally, some extra parmesan on the top. That is the most divine dish from northern Italy. That fantastic pulled pork with that unique sauce and served with papadelli pasta. It's going to be a winner every single time. Yummo. Please give it a try. You'll love it.